are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. Coming into Greenwich Bay. Um, I think this little section is called Greenwich East. Or East Greenwich. We're okay, just going to go squeezing there and see if there's anchorage, but we think we're going to have to anchor over here. I think that guy wants to go and swim in this summer weather. Crazy. Peter and I has jackets, have jackets on. This is over there, very picturesque little bay. And that is East Greenwich. Greenwich. Greenwich or Greenwich. Greenwich. East Greenwich. Which? Which? Uh, but they don't Which? say W. Yeah, they say Greenwich. Greenwich. They only say Greenwich. Greenwich. Something like that. Uh, but it's but a it's very, very pretty. Very pretty very, picture. Very, very pretty. I think this is probably what it looks like at, on the lakes in Canada and those places. That is mm. what I imagine it looks like. The very foresty. Trees. Yeah. East Greenwich. So we are walking the streets of East Greenwich. And here's a diner. <laughs> nice dining place. Two fancy glasses and serviettes. Hey, expensive. I like the street lamps. Looks so pretty. Still very gloomy. Just left East Greenwich, uh, Warwick is, is around, oh, yeah, so Warwick is around this corner here, and Bristol is somewhere there, uh, or maybe around that corner I think is Bristol, and we now on our way to one of those big bridges, so we are heading for Martha's Vineyard, or oh, that direction, not necessarily to Martha's Vineyard. And then we will see how the wind is going to play. But at this moment you can see no wind, it's so quiet, you cannot even raise the sail. And all the wind that's there is what we generate with our five knots going forward. So it's not much wind. And we would like to get to Maine before the 4th of July. So this video is before is shot before the 4th of the July there is Fort Adams over there and this is the inlet to Rhode Island Bay or what bay this is and um, we've got we've got the reef in so it's not needed but I'm not sure what will happen when we get outside there but we are not doing too shabby um, and if you can look here a wind angle is like 27, 28, the apparent wind angle is 30 around there and we're actually doing quite okay with this flat water <laughs> we are doing okay and it's 
So we just need to clear that green navigation marker, the starboard marker, well, I'm not sure what do they call it here, because this is IATA B, I think, not IATA A. So that is a green marker, and here is rocks and shallow areas. So I would rather try to key, stay on this side of, of that yellow marker over there. This is the island, road island, you can see there. And then it is, then it's open sea. We're back in the Atlantic. And we are going to try and get there this afternoon. And something that's a lot here is lobster pots. And they all have their own different colors, but you just see the, the little boys with different colors and different numbers and things like that drifting all over uh, it's just crazy you, you think you're on a good tack and then oh there's something there right in front of you and you need to get out of the way and then uh, when you go out of the way you see oh here's another one right in front of me and then you need to tack again this way so it's it is a nightmare i don't think you should sail here at night or at least motor here at night because your props will get snagged it's Mansion is an understatement. So hopefully that's going to bring you some drone footage of those palaces. This is why we work, why it's you and I. What a game changer a drone is to getting to know your surroundings. When at anchor you have no idea of the true beauty that lays beyond. It's time for a day. Get behind the wheel and drive. We don't care about the time. Would you by my side? I don't need to hide. I feel alive. You bring me coffee in the morning. Post it with a It is dead quiet wind still day again so no sails up but we are going to go through the canal here at Cape Cod this is Massachusetts I think so Cape Cod is somewhere that direction so today we are on Yanmar Tower so the Yanmar wind been provided by Yanmar and this is where we are at this moment so this is where we are at the moment so we that's the lighthouse I was talking about the canal st starts there it will go through 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 and you can see we are that is already high tide over there but over here it's still going down so we're going to try and catch it as it goes up. And Raymarine is getting slower der, der, and slower der, der. So there's Cape Cod Bay, there's Boston and Providence. We've been now there in the last few days. So we are now going through and then to the little toe of the little boot. And then after that we are heading for up there. That I think is the indication where they start, where the channel starts. So we are officially in the channel between Cape Cod and mainland. That is the train bridge busy going up because we have to go under it. But it's so cool that whole thing drops right down to the ground. These birds all make huge nests on top of these markers. Going up the Cod Canal reminded us of our time going through the Bosphorus in Turkey, just way smaller and much less traffic. The scenic walkways on either side of the canal were alive with people jogging, walking dogs and with kids all in tow. Looked like such a peaceful community, all sharing in nature's beauty. They walk down the aisle, they lose their love to everyday life. That's not you and I.
We just anchor here in Provincetown or P Town as the guys call it. We need to find out how we need to say it. But yeah, we anchored here's a mooring field and there's a mooring field, but in between you can actually find a little anchor spot. So we're going to wait here for the wind to come and then we will head up to Maine. That's on Monday. So we have for the weekend. And it is a it is a very well protected bay. We're meeting a friend that we met in the Bahamas. So we're gonna look for the same tall dinghy dock space. I think it's around that corner there. Yeah, so apparently a very very jolly town. Gathering of trawlers. This is, I think this is your, the dinghy dock. There is loads of dinghies here. Sure. They've actually got little pontoons for the dinghies. How sweet is this? Ah, oh, yes, on the spot here. Yeah. yeah. I think that one has our name on it. Okay, and here is Pitan and the Pilgrims Monument. So, this is a very happy and gay place. So we came in this one as our first stop. It is called Bradford. And this is going to be a show. Drag karaoke. And this is what it looks like in So there's lots of places out there as well. Town is a seaside town on the site of the Mayflower's landing in 1620, commemorated by the towering Pilgrim Monument. P Town is known as a long time haven for artists, lesbians, and gay men. Numerous galleries, plus restaurants, nightclubs, cabarets, and speciality shops are clustered on and around lively commercial streets. So we've reached the Pilgrim Monument in Princetown. But it looks like you have to go up with a cable car. So this is probably going to set us back a couple of dollars. We found a back door. There is indeed a way to walk. I need to do my 10,000 steps. So I am not complaining. And it's nice and shaded here as well. Okay, so there you have it.
Oh, look at this one. You can easily walk to the top. 60 ramps and 116 stairs. So that's an awful lot of steps to get to the top there. People are believing in Christianity and all of these nice things. Why do they always put dragons on these oh, buildings? Vicious looking, huh? Yeah, vicious looking dragons. For people that don't believe in them. They keep on doing the same stuff. <laughs> Look at this. We need to find a little cocktail place, but I think this just looks so awesome. Put the chimney. Here we go. And I find this spot. This is definitely my spot. That is our next destination. It's been called the Lobster Pot. And we have never tasted a lobster, but tonight we're going to do a lobster. This is the guys we're going to eat. Nobody wants me. <laughs> yeah. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. How it looks. Um, you can see right here that's all tail meat. So that's nice and tasty. I recommend dipping everything in this seven herb butter sauce that's underneath the lobster. Exactly. And that's a wrap for this week guys. Thanks for visiting with us and we really hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Join us next week as we head further north on our way to Maine.